Welcome back. You're watching Mocha in the Morning, and I am officially Jorge. Well, in lieu of all of this uh, political hostility that's been going on, especially with the immigration crisis, which I like to call racist crisis, um, a lot of you have been reaching out to me on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram, and Instagram asking me, you know, what it is that you can do. Well, take a look at our signature blend, and that will absolutely answer your question. Hey everybody, this is officially Jorge. I want to say thank you uh, for those of you who have been reaching out to me in regards to the immigration crisis that is happening uh, in the United States and what it is that we can do about it. Well, shout out to Ginger Jacobson because she has totally turned me on to something that I think is so fabulous that I think it's something that everyone can do in regards to activism and doing doing something, feeling like you are doing something. And let me tell you, talk about holding your hand all the way through it. What I want you to do is I want you to go to fivecalls.org, okay? It's super, super, super simple. And I'm going to do it right now um, as like I'm doing this little video for you. So I'm at fivecalls.org and it simply says, you know, you need to like plug in, okay, where do you live? Okay, plug in your zip code, bam, do that. It figures out where you are, okay, it's not that hard. And then what is important to you, okay? That's not that hard either. You should know this already. And all these topics are here. So the first one happens to be demand the unification uh, of migrant children with families. So that's exactly what I'm gonna click here, bam. And guess what? It tells you, it kind of gives you a synopsis of everything that is going on. And then it tells you who to call. So uh, it wants me to call Rick Scott. Hey! Let's go ahead and do that. And the phone number is right there. And what's really cool is that they have a script and you can read the script. And who cares if it's a script? And like no one's watching you. And who cares if someone's watching you? Okay, you want to know um, that you are actually saying the right things and uh, getting them all together. So, and they help you do that. I'm going to put it on speaker so you can hear. Blah, blah, blah. Your call is important. Sure. Please press 1 to speak with an available representative. Please press 2 to leave a voicemail for the governor's staff. Okay. And here we go. Thank you for contacting Governor Rick Scott's office. Your call is important to us. Our hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Your hours are going to be when I say you were. Governor, please write to Office of the Governor. No, we're not writing. The Hello there, my name is Jorge Alvarado Krupa and I'm a constituent uh, from St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm calling to ask Rick Scott to publicly demand that the Department of Health and Human Services immediately formulate a plan to reunite the thousands of migrant children separated from their families by the Trump administration. It's appalling that no plans have been made to do so and further delay will cause more irreparable harm to these innocent babies and children. Mr. Governor, I am, I am calling to ask you to investigate whether any migrant children separated from their families by the federal government are held in our state and immediately work to reunite them with their relatives. Any further delay in reunification will cause more irreparable harm to these innocent babies and children. Thank you for your time and attention. Mr. Governor Rick Scott. And then you hang up. And then you go down the list because there are plenty of other important um, items and topics that we need to discuss and they need to know about. So you can either wait on the line, speak to one of the reps, 
or leave a voicemail and you can do this do like one when you wake up in the morning one when you take your lunch break you know and then when you're off of work bam get in the car before you go anywhere like and not driving bam like make another phone call right before dinner make it a family thing like everybody at the dinner table make a phone call anybody who can vote and who cares you know if they can't vote get everyone involved start calling use this website donate to all the not-for-profit organizations that are fighting for our rights and just for the sake of humanitarian issues give me a freaking break anyways that's what you can do to help